air low particle service is beyond horizon. It is expected to offer unprecedented value for both business and human society development. Air low particle service represents a brand new research area that will offer plenty of opportunities for new scientific breakthroughs. Why is this the case? I'm Associate Professor Yong Liu from the Department of Information and Service Management. I will give you my explanation. I, so this robot has started to slowly penetrate our daily life. Even though the use of AI service robot is relatively limited, we could see an increasing deployment of AI service robot in the business like a hotel and a restaurant. On a global scale, especially in the countries like the United States, China, and Japan. Since HANA Hotel in Japan, the world is the first hotel that recruited robotic, uh, robotic staff to, do, to operate its business in 2015. Today, hundreds of hotels and restaurants have recruited robotic staff to deliver services that traditionally require humans to deliver, such as gathering hotel guests to their rooms, delivery dishes to our specific tables in our restaurant. A huge amount of investment has been dedicated to this emerging market with a focus of the robot that can offer domestic, logistic, medical, and personal service. With a big investment from both government and a big company, the algorithm of AI robot are becoming more and more intelligent. As a result, AI service robot are becoming more and more capable of delivering human-like service. AI robotic service represents the future of, fu future of service business. It has practical importance, as the use of service robot is expected to help address many societal challenges, such as offering services to, to aging population. Also, AI, AI service robot can be used to, to do the jobs that people find dangerous or boring. Even though the diffusion of AI service robot it, it is at its initial stage, it is expected to change our life and how the world will look like. Think about the inception of internet in later 1990s. It has dramatically changed our life and how companies operate its business in just 20 or 30 years. I believe this will also be the case by robotic technology. I'm so passionate with studying this area that will change our life. AI robotic service, as a topic of scientific research, is challenging the applicability of many traditional theory that we hold as truths in the traditional human-based service domain. AI robotic service represents the plant Black new research area waiting for new theory to, developed, to be developed, developed and a new scientific breakthrough to emerge. While traditional service science focus on how humans deliver service to human, information system science concerns how the IT could be used for digital service. AI robotic service creating, create an overlapping research area before, between service science and, in the, and the information system science by allowing AI robot as a kind of IT innovation to deliver human-like service. AI, AI service robot also create a challenge to the relevant field such as management science. For instance, how company should incorporate robotics in their delivery of service. How the company should create human robot partnership, especially when human employees have to do certain tasks with the assistance of robotics. These are important topics for management science. Research on AI robotic service need to incorporate theories from both robot design and human psychology. We, as humans, give psychological response to different design of service robot. And such response has a root in our genes. People exhibit an anthropomorphic bias. 
which describe a human tendency to ascribe human-like characteristics to this, such as uh, mental, proper, mental agencies or properties to the things that don't have it. For instance, we may consider an electricity socket to have a smile face and feel it is alive. As a result, we must understand how users will respond to different design of service robot in order to make them acceptable by the customers. The success of a service robot depe depends on the customer's acceptance of both the physical existence of service robot and uh, the content of robotic service. AI robotic service differs greatly from traditional human-based service or digital service. For instance, a customer who likes a robot may dislike the service delivered by the robot. A customer who wants to receive a service may dislike the robot that delivered that service. The same robotic services offered by the robot with different, different design may trigger very different psychological response. As a result, the attributes of a service robot and the robotic service must have, a good, must have a good match in order to trigger favorable customer response. As robotic services are embedded within the functionality of a service robot, the acceptance of robotic service also indicated acceptance of the physical existence and autonomy that the service robot project, but not vice versa. We should note that IT innovation do not always bring, bring about a positive customer response. IT use sometimes could also bring about a negative response. For instance, the use of service robot may bring about a feeling of uh, uneasiness and a threat. Such feeling can be stronger when the size of service robot is large and the robot is moving. When a robot has a very odd design, may try, we may try to avoid interacting with that robot. As a result, no matter what the service is offered by the robot, no matter what the service is offered by the robot, we will refuse to use that service because of our rejection of the robot. The most relevant theory that can help explain the above mentioned phenomena would probably be the uncanny valley theory. Proposed by Molly in the 1970s, uncanny valley theory assumes that when robots start to become human-like, we will dedicate our attention to the human-like part of the robot. As a, as a result, at a low level of human likeness of robot, the more human-like the robot in appearance or motion, the more positive human emotional reaction toward the robot. This trend continues until a certain point beyond which we will dedicate our attention to the non-human part of the robot. As a result, our emotional response quickly turns negative. Nonetheless, as appearance and emotion become indistinguishable to the real human, our emotional reaction will become similar to the ones of real human. The uncanny valley theories actually imply a bar in the performance of robotic service, which is beyond human service. Because robot cannot be the same to real human, resulting in a low level of familiarity to the real human. Customers exhibit greatest affinity to the real human because they create minimal dinosaur and uncertainty. My research aimed to address the challenge implied by the uncanny valley theory and to offer design guideline with regard to both service robot and robotic service by making them favorable to the customers. To this end, I employed infantile acuteness design of robot as a means of alleviating perceived threat of, robot, of enhanced robot antropomorphisms. Cute design 
represent a design strategy that incorporates a children-like appearance or characteristics uh, into our products, such as large head and round face. Cuneate design of products is grounded by the theory of baby schema. The theory of baby schema indicates that infantile features, such as that are common to baby animals or young children, such as large eyes, can evoke positive, affective response in the human. Such uh, infantile features motivate caretaking behaviors of other individuals, regardless of kinship. Perceived cuteness has uh, evolutionary functions of enhancing offspring survival through, through triggering the desire to take a child into one's arm and uh, urge individuals to look at the infant for a longer period. Cuteness design is a new splendid design strategy for, cus for triggering customers' perception of product cuteness. Cuteness design of a robot can convey a sense of powerlessness, trigger an immediate relationship of intimacy and care on the part of user. As a result, so creating a feeling of intimacy and powerlessness Cuteness design a robot could alleviate the, the feeling of perceived threat of the service robot. Such a feeling or emotion can be extended to influence people's perception on the, on the service delivered by the robot. In other words, robot cuteness design could motivate customers to accept both the robotic service, but also the, uh, but also the robot that the physical existence and the moving capabilities in the real world. In the research, together with several other researchers, we found that robot, robot cuteness design in appearance is not the only way to trigger an immediate relationship of the intimacy with service robot. Actually, robot cuteness design in appearance can be very costly because it restricts the design of robot to have a human head or human face in its appearance. We found that robot that has a cute boy or kid-like boy can also trigger a feeling of, of intimacy and powerlessness. We found that robot has this kind of cute boy can also result in a higher satisfaction of the services than real human. So the, our findings could help to release, the, release companies from the worry that implementing service robot in their business will lead to lower customer satisfaction, as indicated by Uncanny Valley theory. To summarize my talk, I believe AI robotic service is beyond the horizon. By taking this emerging topic as a new opportunity to advance both business and scientific research, we can create a better life for all mankind, address many societal challenges, and make scientific breakthroughs. So that's all. Thank you for listening.